Yes! Three minutes, two minutes, and your Ottawa Senators here in year three, boys, under GM Yeesh, have qualified for the 2021 Stanley Cup playoffs. Welcome back, my loyal citizens of Ottawa. GM Yeesh here up at the year three Stanley Cup playoffs with your Ottawa Senators against the Detroit Red Wings. And man, it has not been an easy path to get here, boys. We had to fight tooth and nail for that final playoff spot, but we pulled it off in typical Senator Cinderella fashion, going on a tear and clinching that playoff berth in the uh, final game of the season, which has earned us a matchup against the Detroit Red Wings. New look Detroit Red Wings. They have uh, they officially Pierre-Luc Dubois. Zad and Amantha have arrived as bona fide 30 goal scorers in the NHL. Larkin's probably the captain of the team by now. And they added a uh, free agent, Mikhail Granlin. Uh, Svechnikov is also up there. And so I'll go ahead and go over the lines here just so we know what we're matching up against. Uh, first line, I say it's a wash, right? Um, Sanford is miles ahead of Svechnikov, but we don't have that true bona fide 92 overall number one center like they have in Luke Dubois. And uh, Ehlers and Granlin, I'd say that's pretty much a wash. So first line, I'd say it's uh, even. Second line, boys, is where they have us. Um, we don't have the 230 goal scorers on that second line in Mantha and Zadna. And Larkin's probably a number one center in this league. So I think it's a little unbalanced there. Um, third line, I'd say we have a slight edge because just how hot uh, Garen's been, right? Brownie, Duclair, I'd take them over Rasmussen and Anthony Sioux. And fourth line, pretty much even. So I'd say forward lines are pretty much even, except for the second line. They have us beat there. But the decor, this is where we can take them, boys. Brian Monroe is out until April 22nd uh, with a broken nose. He might return a little earlier. But without him in the lineup, right, I'd take any one of our top four defensemen over their top four. Chuba, miles ahead of Cholowitzki. Um... Branny miles ahead of the Kaiser, and I take Willannon over Tanev any day of the week. And Shabbat is the best defenseman in the series, regardless of if Monroe is playing or not. Um, Goaltending, I'd say it's pretty even, right? Jimmy Howard won overall beneath uh, Saros, but at the same time, he's a veteran. He's been here before. Saros has had a fantastic season, but he still has to prove himself in the playoffs. Um, I'll go ahead and show our lines real quick before we hop in here. We got Ehlers, Kachuk absolutely tearing it up on that first line with Sanford. Second line, Norris, Bathurst, and Don Scoy. This line was also clicking. I believe Norris actually wanted to meet with me. You know, I think the front office is making a lot of smart decisions as of late. Love to hear it, Norris. There we go. Demanding. Mm -hmm. And this third line has been absolutely key to us making the playoffs, boys. Duclair and especially Garen, right? On absolute fire. Fourth line, look at this, boys. Uh, Cody Eakin actually finished the season with 14 goals and 27 uh, points on the fourth line, so that's huge. I love our decor in comparison to theirs. And goaltending, Saros has been nothing short of magnificent. So I'm feeling if we want to take them in the series, boys, I feel like we need to make an impact early on because Monroe is still out with that injury, right? So once he gets back, it's going to be competitive series. But if we can take it to him early, get ourselves a sizable lead in this series, I don't see any reason we can't take it, right? We're uh, right there with them. Let's go ahead get game one of the playoffs with your Ottawa Senators underway here, boys. First period. How's it going to go? Let's go. one nothing lead. Drake Batherson. How good has this kid been down the stretch for us? He had that uh, game winner to clinch the playoffs. Now he opens the playoffs with the first goal. All right. Oops. Uh... Ah, Granlin ties up. I didn't want to go real-time simulation yet. Go ahead and simulate this period. Jacob Trouba. All right, all right. 2-1 lead going to the third. Low-scoring game here. Now, it's going to be their top six, right? That lethal second line versus our top four defensemen. It's going to be a difference of who can shut who down or, or if we can shut them down or if uh, they can break through. I think that's going to be the difference in this series. And so far, your Ottawa Senators here, boys, showing up. Defensively sound, Saros is having a game right now. 33 shots, only one goal allowed, and we win. The, we take game one, boys. Let's go. Um, so let's see. Truba, it was the decor and decor second line and third line. All right, Batherson from Branny, uh, Truba from Kachuk and Ehlers, and Garen from Brownie and Truba. So Truba had himself a nice playoff game. Saros first star of that game, no doubt, and we take a huge one on the road, boys. Detroit was the uh, third best team in the league in terms of uh, home record, so that's huge. Uh, 
interestingly enough, we were second. We had the second best home record in the entire NHL. So home ice advantage is going to be key in this series. So taking that road win, huge. And what did I say, boys? We need to create separation early in the series while Monroe is out. I think we have an advantage with him not in the lineup. First period. Come on. Ah, Rasmussen gets one. So their third line comes through. But we still managed to hold that second line off the scoreboard so far. We survived their storm here in the first, boys. Time for us to push back. Second period. Uh, 2-1 deficit. Man, Batherson again. How good has he been? 2-1 deficit let, heading into the third, though. Come on, boys. It's only one goal. Right in it. Power play. Make it count. Yes! Sanford comes through. Sanford's first of many career playoff goals. Let's go. Love to see it. Come on, boys. Tie game here. Come on. Come on. We got him. Oh, my gosh. Saros has been an absolute monster. We're getting outshot here kind of consistently. I don't like it. But, I mean, if Saros can hold him down, shut down that second line, I'm perfectly okay with it, right? All right. We're going overtime. I might do – I might hop into the game for elimination, but game two, still a little early. Let's see how it plays out. I want to see if there's a captain on this team. Yes! Just as I said, Jonas Donskoy, the fantastic Finn showing up here. Batherson had a goal and two apples. Good gosh. And Saros, another insane game. Fantastic Finn showing up for us here in the playoffs, boys. You love to see it. Uh, okay, that's an AHL injury. I was getting a little worried for a second there. So, huge, huge game three, right? Um, Monroe could return as early as, like, game five. So we need to win one of these next two here on home ice, right? Put ourselves up 3-1 series deficit, and we know we can take one of these last three games, boys. So up till now, we've been pretty calm, right? Take it game by game. One of these two games, boys, must win scenario. Let's go. Game three on home ice against the Detroit Red Wings. Come on, boys. Come on. First period, 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, I'll take that. They outshot us again, man. I don't like... I thought we were a pretty good possession team. I don't like getting out shot like that. Second period. Okay, okay, I'll take it. You know what? They can keep out shooting us as long as we outscore them. Brady Kachuk gets his first of the playoffs. Love to see it. Uh, saw a lot of people saying he should be the next captain of the Ottawa Senators here. Ah, and then I see you ties it up. Maybe, boys, maybe. That's something we'll definitely have to look into in the offseason. Power play. Come on. It's a long one. Ah, they kill it off. That's a huge kill. Come on, boys. We've been clutching these one-goal situations so far. Who's going to step up and be the hero this game? It's a new player every single game. I want to see the hero. Oh, yes! Healers with 20. Are you kidding me? 40 seconds left. <sighs> Your auto senators. 3-0 series lead, boys. 3-0 series lead up against the Detroit. I mean, we have to we have to see if Monroe's returning, right? Like that, that could change everything. So Batherson leads us in points, four points in three games. That's what I'm saying. But we have three lines who can score consistently, right? And uh, I feel like they really only have that second line that we need to be worried about. So let's see. Detroit, Detroit, Detroit. If we can continue. Oh, they're changing the lines up, boys. They're making some shifts here. Interesting. They're stacking the first line, so it's no longer the uh, second line we need to be worried about. Uh, Monroe's still out. All right. I have no idea what's going to happen this game, boys, but we need to shut down the first. I'm not making any line changes, right? You don't fix when ain't broke, but shut down the first line. We win this game. Simple as that. Shut down the first line. We go home. We're rested for the second round. Come on, boys. I can't believe I'm saying this, but your auto centers here on home ice have a chance to advance to the second round of playoffs after sweeping the door. Oh, my gosh. And Sanford scores on the first shot. Let's go. Come on, boys. First period. 2 nothing lead. Sanford. Ehlers. It's coming to get. We're getting outshot 19-8. to Saros is having the series of his life. This is the week of his life right here. Second period. 3-1 lead. I'll take that. Brady Kachuk, the first line. Every single one of them has a goal. The leaders are stepping up in the locker room, boys. We're 20 minutes away from round two here. Come on. Shut the door, Sorrow. Shut the door. Duclair, let's go. That should be it, boys. That should be it. That should be the dagger. Get down to the 10-minute mark. Come on. We're not the Toronto Maple Chokes. Get down to the 10-minute mark. Yes. Let's go, boys. Eight minutes here. Come on. Five-minute mark. I want to see the five-minute mark. There it is. All right. Saros isn't choking this, boys. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Your Ottawa Senators are going to advance the second round of the playoffs after sweeping the Detroit Red Wings. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Are you kidding me, man? I mean, maybe 
you look at all these games, right? They were all close games. Uh, Detroit. <sighs> Detroit was uh, in every single one of them, except me. Like they were, weren't they? They were winning game two. Game two was huge. I don't think that was a game we should have won, and we managed to grasp a uh, victory from the jaws of defeat. Um, game three could have gone either way. Game four is the only one that was really, I felt confident about, like from the get go. Good gosh, man. I mean, even, uh, was it game game one or game two? They tied it up, like, pretty quickly. It was a pretty even series. It's not like we were... I think Monroe being injured was the difference there. So, go ahead. Oh, AHL team made the playoffs. Love to see it. So, I was thinking of calling up Formington for the, uh, you know, just to be a scratch right so you could see what it's like. I mean, they might get swept, actually. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no our playoff demons from oh oh the man who ruined the senators and sent them into that rebuild oh we have to play against him oh dear all right all right all right i won't do any uh i'll just go ahead and scroll through lines here quickly right boys uh let's see <laughs> no oh 94 92 maybe malkin's getting old right 85 oh but gensel's a 90 Hornquist. Uh, I mean, this guy's hurt. Modern Latang, 84, 80, 89, 85. Oh, dear. What's Murray at a 90? Uh. <sighs> this. We might be outclassed here, boys. Um, ugh. Obviously, not doing their. Uh, I'm not going to do round two of the playoffs in this video, right? But. <sighs> man, I don't know. I feel like against, uh, here, I'll go ahead and look at the stats real quick, show you guys the stats before we, uh, oops, this is regular season. I don't know, man. I feel like Detroit was a team that surprised a lot of people, like us. They weren't a true playoff uh, cup contender, and I think beating them was perfectly reasonable. This would be an upset. This would be a legitimate upset, right? Um, let's see who's going for us. Branny, two apples, Garen's contributing sand for two goals Ehlers, kachuk this first line just took over in the final two games i mean they were on absolute fire um interestingly enough look at this garen's uh third on the team in shots this third line they get shots brownie's a pure playmaker and he gets the puck to declare in garen i love that third line right now so <sighs> Man, okay, okay, okay. Before I end the video, boys, let me go ahead and go over the lines here. Um, this is, I think this would be a legitimate upset, right? They have that one-two punch down the center that we just do not have at the moment. Um, they have the depth. Now, maybe this kid isn't the best, but Gensel and Kessel, like, they have, they have, they're a veteranized team. They've been to the cup before. They're contenders, right? Latang is an 89. They have the number one defenseman. They have a true number one goalie, both in overall, reputation, all that. Um, ugh. This is going to be a tough round, boys. Let me... Okay, last thing I want to do, let me go ahead and take a look at the Pittsburgh Penguins stats. Like, who's who's clicking for them right now? So, last thing I want to check. Um, Ottawa Senators. Here we are, Pittsburgh Penguins. This is going to be interesting. Malkin's on absolute fire. So, yeah, that overall doesn't mean anything, boys. Uh, Malkin, playoff performer. Kessel, Gensel, Crosby, right? Latang, Buke stat on the third line. So, yeah, they have the depth, boys. I'm not saying we can't win this series, right? We just swept the Detroit Red Wings. We're rested. We're, uh, oh, my gosh. They were 9-0-1 in their last 10. Yeah. I mean, we're on fire, though, right? We're right up there with them. They just went to seven games against Toronto. Maybe they're beat up. Uh, we've had plenty of time to rest. I saw they had an injury to the fourth liner, so maybe a couple guys are banged up. It's not like we're out of it, but I'm. I think we can all agree it would be a legitimate upset if we can pull this off. But I'm not. I'm not willing to write us off, boys. We just swept the number two seed in the East. So let's see what we can do next video, boys. Uh, if you guys have any line changes, right, that you think possible combinations that might give us an edge over Pittsburgh, I show you guys the lines for a second, let me know, right? I will try and get the next video up um, probably not today, but like a, the day after tomorrow. Try and get it, uh, get these videos out. I want to get the series going before 20. Um, 
Ugh, this is going to be a tough matchup, boys. Your auto senators, again, we're going to be the underdogs. Even after sweeping the number two seed, we're still going to be the underdogs. That's fine, boys. It's our identity. I love to see it. Let me know what you guys think I should do. Um, any, any changes, any tricks, right? I'm not going to make any changes before game one. We're on a win streak. But, like, any tricks down the line you think I should do, let me know. And I will see you all in the next episode.